What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army Mysteries of Life coming back at you guys once again with another Blade and Soul video. And today I have something a little bit different for you. I haven't really posted videos like this or a video like this before, but uh, uh, I thought this uh, I thought this be uh, kind of fun, kind of fun to do, and yeah, it's, it's really just for fun, honestly. Um, but uh, anyway, so we're gonna be doing uh, I'm doing a solo video today, and I'm gonna be showing you guys pretty much how I solo some of the dungeons uh, in the game. More specifically, the three, the old big three dungeons um, that everybody used to do when they were trying to get their belt, their ring, and their uh, necklace, which is. Um, uh, Naryu Foundry, Desolate Tomb, and uh, Evendrake Citadel. I'll be doing uh, a little bit of a guide on how I solo these three dungeons. Um, but uh, before I do that, I want to go ahead and say that everything, everything, you know, starting off, that everything from Naryu Foundry all the way down uh, is pretty much soloable, okay? You can pretty much solo those dungeons if you have enough gear. Maybe with the exception of Wake and Necro, just because of the mechanics. Um, I have seen people two man Necro, but I haven't actually seen it anyone solo it. I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure someone has done it. Uh, it's just very tedious when you're trying to do the the, the three cores or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, no, so um, in my case, uh, pretty much on a daily basis, if I'm not running with my static group, uh, I pretty much solo the dungeons. Uh, mo majority of the dungeons, as you see over here, uh, from Nari Foundry all the way down. And uh, yeah, man, I'm not really going to be posting footage of me killing the final bosses or soloing things like Shattered Mass or... Uh, uh, cold storage or or uh, avalanche or lair just because that's those are pretty old dungeons everybody knows how to solo them it's 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 doable okay um, and it's nothing new it's nothing new just know that you can solo solo them and uh, it is possible uh, but the three main ones that everybody seems to be soloing and you know having a lot of fun and that's actually still worth soloing today uh, because of the gold and the daily is foundry desolate and ebon citadel okay uh, with the exception everything else above is pretty much you can either two man it uh, with the ex except uh, except for star stone star stone you can actually solo uh, I have seen videos of people soloing star, star stones in NA and EU okay our version not the uh, the KR or anything like that, because of course it is possible in their region. Um, but for our region, uh, Starstone Mines, I have seen people solo this. I haven't tried it out myself. Uh, however, I do know that it's possible. Hollow's Heart is too manable. Uh, you could duo this. I have uh, two two of uh, my clanmates actually, uh, Sweetie QI and Sneaks. They actually so uh, two man this uh, normal mode, and soon to be in the future in a couple patches from now, this dungeon will also be soloable as well. Uh, but as of right now, you can two man this. This one you could solo. Uh, I'm not sure about Ebon Lair. I don't really give a shit about Ebon Lair. Uh, but I know for Iron Tech and Naryu Sanctum, you can actually two man this, right? For, because of the uh, the mode, the uh, the mechanics or whatever. I'm sure there is ways you could solo Sanctum. However, I haven't tried it and things like the second boss with the amount of HP he has I'm sure it's gonna be a bit tough to lure uh, but I do know that you can two man iron tech and sanctum uh, but anyway fuck all that let's go ahead and get right into the video I'm gonna start off with uh, desolate tomb I'm gonna show you how exactly I encountered each boss in desolate tomb as well as Ebon Citadel and Naryu Foundry and that's pretty much the, what uh, today's video is gonna be about if you do want me to however if you do want me to show you how I solo the rest of the dungeons or the older dungeons I, I should say uh, then go ahead and throw it in the comment section below. I'll, I'll, sh I'll make a specific video how to solo things like uh, Sogun's Lament, uh, Shattered Mass, uh, Sundrip Nexus, Cold Storage, whatever, Gloom even. Uh, with, and like I said, with the exception of um, Awaken, Awaken Necro. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, but other than that, uh, the three dungeons that are still worth soloing are these three right here. And we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So let's head over to Desolate Tomb and I'll show you how I encounter the bosses in there. Uh, also, before I go in there, I want to show off. I want to show you the uh, the kinds of gear that I'm doing to uh, uh, to accomplish this. Uh, so pretty much the gear that I have for this, because a lot of you ask that, I always forget to do this too. I'll uh, show you what kind of gear that I'm currently rocking uh, to solo these things, or in any of my videos, is uh, my Riftwalk 9. Right, I got the Riftwalk 9, the Hepta Gems, and the Octo Diamond. Uh, I have the Awaken Ring. I got this. I got the earring stage 10. Uh, still got the stage 6 necklace. It's fine. It's fine. The uh, the necklace at stage 6 is okay uh, to do this. Of course, maxed out bracelet. We got to get that bracelet. We got the belt. We got still got the hollows gloves. That's right. I don't. You do. You absolutely do not need the new legendary glove or even the um, 
uh, the uh, the Starstone glove to do this. The Hollow's glove is fine. I have Awakened Cosmic One. I have the Unleashed Hong Moon Pet. Uh, I don't even have the Legendary Soul Badge yet. That's right. If I had the Legendary Soul Badge, that would actually mit that would actually cut down some time, just because I have more time on my uh, my Mighty Cleave, which gives me more Tiger Bracelet effects, which uh, does more DPS. Yeah. So these solo runs would actually be faster if I had it, but you don't need it. So like me, so all I have is the Courage. Of course, we got the VT badge, and I'm rocking three piece BT and a five piece VT. Oh, I'm sorry, three piece Skybreak Spire and five piece uh, Temple of Alluvium. Uh, for those of you who don't know the uh, the other names for these places. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the uh, the gear that I'm rocking to do this. My build is pretty much looking like this. I have it on the shorter cooldown just because it's it's only me. So there's gonna be I, I so I have it on the shorter cooldown just so uh, for the grab, uh, just so that uh, I could grab more often. Uh, I don't really grab as much, but uh, in in cases that I do have to grab, uh, I pretty much just have it on this one just because. Also, there isn't anyone else with me, so it's not like they're using. I'm not. It's not like I'm using restraint skills or anything like that. So I pretty much just use this to grab uh, more often, and then uh, yeah, everything else should be keeping the, should keep the same for the most part. When I get to the final bosses from each dungeon, it actually changes up a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Once we get there. Anyway, let's head into Desolate Tomb and, uh, you know, encounter the first boss. Okay, so here we are at the first boss in Desolate Tomb, and not much is really going on here. The only thing you have to be aware of is the the three bombs, the three explosions that he does, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. After that, you pretty much, uh, you know, deal with the wives, get that shield off, and, uh, burst down the, uh, the boss. That's pretty much all it is. The way I do it is I actually kill the first wife just because he does his three bombs, and then I pretty much just try to kill him as fast as possible. I'll show you what I mean, uh, but here we go. Just kill the, uh, the lady, and, uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get knocked down here. Oh, nope, maybe I won't. He's gonna do his thing. I get parry spin, that's okay. He's gonna do his thing. That didn't hurt so much, you know? Normal mode, right? So, uh, yeah. And she's gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and iframe that just because it was a... Uh, I could have been frozen there, and I'm going to go ahead and put up the shield like this, and I'm going to be okay, just like that. Very good. After that, it's all about uh, pretty much bursting her, him down, and the wife is getting in the way, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Same thing again, I frame. Whoops. And with this one, we could actually spin through the uh, the explosions, just like that. You probably didn't even have to use the stone shield, but uh, yeah. And I'm just gonna go ahead and whoop! Come on, kill him. There we go. <laughs> the wife was getting in the way, uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I deal with the uh, the first boss. Eh, yeah, grab her. Why not? Put her in the mighty cleave, and uh, just uh, just kill her. Anyway, so that's the first boss. That was actually a little bit sloppy just because I was getting knocked up. I should have positioned myself in a better place, but eh, it's whatever. I never said I was good at this game, right? So, yeah. So that's the uh, the first boss. Let's head over to the second boss. Okay, so here we are at the second boss. And because this is normal mode, you can't really skip any mechanics. You have to go through each mechanic uh, with the robots and the, the, the thing that he does with the, the shooting of the sparks and... All that other bullshit, and for the most part, I pretty much burst him down, AoE the adds down, and then I stone shield my way uh, through his three slams. I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, but we also start off with the stun just to get more of that uh, more smash damage in, uh, and uh, yeah, but either way, this is how I solo the second boss in Desolate Tomb. Let's get it. He's gonna go up in his thing, and then that's when we go ahead and just kill these ads right here. Go to this one, and then go to this one. And then the three, uh, the red ones spawn in, and then we pretty much just red spin. 
Okay, I'd like to red spin here. Take care of these guys. And uh, let's see, that does a little bit of damage. Oh, I'm actually standing in the fire that hurts a little bit, so let me go ahead and get out of that. Go ahead and kill this last robot, and then uh, after that, we pretty much uh, stone shield like this. Just do that. And then that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if the commentating is terrible. I never said I was good at multitasking, but that's pretty much the gist of what I do, and after that is pretty much a uh, rinse and repeat. There's the ads one more time, so same thing, same thing. And we got a reset, which is nice. So we can go over here. Ping is a little bit high, probably because I'm recording. It's all good. Do this for you guys. Go ahead and go like this. Take these guys out. The red guys are spawning in, so we stand here in the middle and red spin. Go ahead and do that. Make sure I'm getting these guys and that guy. And then pretty much just come over here to take care of this guy, right? Okay, and then he's going to do his three sparks. And we're going to go ahead and get ready for our iron plating. One, two, and three. Bam. And it's just that easy. And, uh, yeah, that is that. That is the second boss in Desolate Tomb. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Very easy. Uh, especially if you have a lot of AoE. Uh, anyway, let's head over to the Lord of the Flame, the, uh, the star of the show uh, for this section of the video. Let's get it. Okay, so here we are at the Lord of the Flame in Desolate Tomb, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I solo him. It's pretty much a sequence of rotation and all this other bullshit and specific things I like to do to avoid getting killed. Um, but before I do that, I like to switch my build up. I like to go with the parry spin because he does these two swipes that could potentially knock you back and stun you. And I like to parry those because they're only yellow indicators. I'll show you what I mean when we get to the fight. Also, I like to put this, uh, the Blitz, as a iframe. As you can see, if you're in iframe, I'm going to show you why I use this as an iframe. It's pretty much a gap closer when he goes into the, me the, uh, the mechanic. He pretty much throws you back. And I can pretty much gap close and iframe his, his yell when I jump right back into him to start the next phase of the mechanic. I'll show you what I mean, it's hard to explain. Uh, that This is pretty much the build for the Lord of the Flame, and uh, yeah man, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do, I start off of course with the uh, the infamous um, uh, Eye of the Storm, and then we go into a Blitz, and then uh, the regular rotation, Fury Stomp into a Smash. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Just go like this. I like to parry the second spin because that could potentially knock you back. We're going to go ahead and face tank this fl the, uh, the flamethrower. And I'm going to parry that because that could potentially knock us back. Yeah, very good. As you can see, we took no damage whatsoever. So this one, he's going to go ahead and do his, uh, uh, his, three, his three fireballs. Then we're going to go one, two, two and a half, and now we red spin. Okay, to avoid the uh, the uh, explosions, the airborne. That's what pretty much, uh, that's what the uh, the red spin does. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna go ahead and iframe that. If you don't iframe that, you will die. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna have to iframe that, that that yell. Okay, go ahead and parry that. Okay, very good. It looks like we're going to get another Sky Shatter effect. Very nice. He's going to go ahead and do his spin one and parry the second spin to avoid knockback. Face tank the flame breath. And what is he going to do next? What are you going to do next? You're going to do that. Okay, we're going to parry that. Do it again. Parry that. Very good. One. Parry spin. Okay. It looks like he's going to go into his uh, first phase of the mechanic right here. I'm going to show you what I mean uh, with the uh, the blitz, the uh, the blitz move, why I have it set to the iframe, okay? Okay, very good. He's going to go ahead and grab me, he's going to throw me, and he actually needs to be stunned, okay? He's got to be stunned here, so we're going to go ahead and f row into a stun just like that, okay? He's going to do it one more time. I'm going to go ahead and heal my HP up back to full so we don't die from taking damage from the, uh, the clap. Okay, very good. 
He's gonna go ahead and grab me, and this time he's gonna yell. But to avoid the yell, I actually go like this. I-frame. Just like that. Did you see that? Pretty much I-framed the, uh, the yell. Don't forget to parry spin that. Okay? And that is pretty much the gist of how I do this fight. Everything else is rinse and repeat. Oh, I forgot to mention the, uh, the uh, random bomb like that. Okay. So for the random bomb, when he does his, his two spins and he places a bomb on you, you want to go ahead and backstep. I usually backstep. That's what I usually do, is a backstep. Uh, but he's going to go ahead and do the three bombs this time, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and red spin. Just like that, red spin, to avoid the airborne. Okay, that's two and three. Okay, very good. Now it's all now it's all of a matter of avoiding the uh, the, the spits. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to iframe and iframe. Just like that, we'll gap close back into him. He's going to put a random bomb, okay? So that's one, two, and then he's going to do the thing. So we're going to backstep just like that to avoid it. Face tank, the flame, parry spin that. Okay, very good. I know this is a bit hard to keep up with. I apologize, but just keep watching the video as I do this, okay? That's one spin, parry that, two, three, backstep. Oh, that was a little bit too early, so I fucked up. So that's what happens whenever I, <laughs> whenever I fuck up like that. And like that as well. He's going to go ahead and jump. This is what happens if you fuck up the parry spin. And go like that. Oh, parry spin. I almost got knocked back there. Okay. But the one thing you always have to do to remember is uh, always stay calm. One, two, and three. Just like that. He's going to go ahead and head over to the second part of the mechanic. We're going to go ahead and F roll from the clap after he grabs and throws and uh, stun him. Then same thing again with this, but then after that we will go ahead and go into our blitz iframe. Okay, so here's the grab. We're going to F roll and we're going to go into a stun. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and get our HP back up from our, our cleaves. Okay, cleave our HP back up. As you can see, the self-healing right there. Same thing. I spin for no particular reason. It's out of habit, if you're wondering. And this time, we're going to go ahead and F-roll into a iframe. Just like that. Very good. And he's gonna, probably going to go do his three flame balls again. Three bombs. Yep, here it is. Two and spin. Just like that, get the iframe, very good. That's two, and one more. Three, just like that, avoid the uh, the spit bombs, and get ready to iframe. And iframe. I use my C. Face tank. Go like this. Parry spin that. Remember to stay calm. And we're very far from the enraged timer, so we got plenty of time. He's going to put the random bomb. One spin, and parry the next spin. Two and three, just like that. Go back into a gap closer. Oh, did not parry spin that. That's all right. If you don't F roll it, he will not jump. That's one bomb, okay. Two and spin, and one, two, three. Just like that. And uh, that is pretty much how I do Desolate Tomb. Oh, look at that. That's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the one hundredth run. Believe it or not, I've only done a hundred runs. Got that on video. That was that that was not planned, by the way. I swear, I put that on my character. That was not planned. Uh, yeah, was that? Yeah, that was my hundredth run. Yeah, well, fuck me, man. That was uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and collect our loot. Let's see what we got. Did we get the PVP one? Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. All right. So uh, there we go. That is how I solo Desolate Tomb. The next dungeon we're going to be going up is uh, going up against is Eben Drake Citadel. So let's head over to your boy Zakan or the first boss in Citadel, and I'll show you how I deal with him there. Okay, so here we are in Eben Drake Citadel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I deal with the uh, the first boss. The build for this is uh, pretty much the the same that it always was. Uh, of course, the grab is a little bit different, just for personal preference. Uh, but uh, the spin has been mo moved back over to the left side, as well as the uh, the iframe for the um, uh, the gap closer blitz into a stun. Okay. So uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and AOE these adds down. So what I like to do is I group them all up, and then we like to use the red spin, okay? Red spin is the best spin. Just pointing that out there. All right, so you're going to go ahead and AOE these guys down, get the uh, get these guys in the process. Okay. 
Let's see, my soul is gonna proc, so that's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, damage him just a little bit. Just like that. And when the soul is about to go off cooldown, we'll go ahead and kill him. Just like that. Okay, so now the soul will proc on Fury. Very good. And the way I like to do this boss is I, I, I pretty much just burst them down. There's not really any mechanics that I actually follow. Like for this one, I just stun him, even though it probably didn't call for a stun. Okay. And if he does this thing like that, we can just go ahead and tab spin. The tab spin negates the knockback, so... Just like, well, almost like that. I got knocked down because of the ads. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and do that. He's most likely gonna do this, so we'll do that. And then we'll do the explosive rage. S spin again, very good, to avoid the knockback. Very good, just like that. And I'm standing in the electricity. Oh well. He's gonna go ahead and go into this one. And this one I actually do properly. I actually knock him down like that. Yeah. I actually. Oh! Tab spin out of that. That is a knockback. You could tab spin out of that. Very good. Just go ahead and burst him down. So yeah, not really a clear plan of how I do this boss. I pretty much just kind of burst him down as best I can. You've seen videos before. This Out of the three dungeons, this place is probably the easiest uh, to solo. So y yeah, there's not, like I said, there's not really a clear plan of what I do in here. I pretty much just, like I said many times, I burst him down. There's just, it's that easy. This, pl this place is easy, man. This is probably the first place that I soloed out of the three. It was this place, and then I tried Desolate, and then I finally did uh, Naryu not too, um, uh, not too long ago. Maybe about a month or two back. Yeah. Okay, so for the second boss, the build for this one is actually Parry Spin. That's all I used. The only reason why we parry spin is because he does that, uh, you have to, you either have to block him or you have to parry him on that one mechanic that he does. Uh, and don't worry about, uh, the killing the two adds. If you miss the two adds and you get, you get hit by that mechanic, it doesn't do that much damage, so don't even sweat it. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first thing we like to do is we'll start off with the, uh, the, uh, the Eye of the Storm, go into a Stomp Fury. Stomp Fury after the, uh, the Blitz, and pretty much just, uh, burst him down like this. That's uh, pretty much what I do. Burst him down. That was actually a pretty good burst. We got him to halfway. Yeah, halfway. Pretty good. These guys are going to go over here. Whoops. Ouch. God damn it. <laughs> I actually killed both of the ads. That's pretty good. If you can kill both the ads, then go ahead and do that. But sometimes, before, I could have never, I never used to be, be able to kill him. Hmm, it looks like I didn't have to parry him after all. Okay, well, I apologize for not showing the mechanic, uh, but usually after I, you know, I missed killing the two adds, uh, I would get pretty much uh, locked into locked into place because of the mechanic. I would get knocked back, and uh, he would jump at me, and after that, he would go into his uh, phase where you could stun him, so I would stun him, and then he would go into the, the phase where you have to block him, and then that's when I would uh, parry spin him. And then it would just be rinse and repeat, that's all it is. He jumps towards you, you stun him, you parry spin or block him, and uh, you burst him down. That's that's pretty much it. But like I said, like I just showed you, if you could kill both the ads like I just did, then pretty much do that, so you don't get locked into the phase. And while he's doing the mechanic, you know, the slams, uh, just go ahead and burst him down, kill him. Yeah, sorry for repeating words. Um, I, I really want to make it as clear and... Uh, yeah, as simple as possible in terms of uh, the commentating, you know, so a lot of you can understand it. Uh, anyway, so let's move on. So the next thing, of course, you, you have to clear the the four doors. Uh, nothing really special there. Um, just pretty much go in there and clear clear all the clear all the rooms. I, I won't show footage of that just because it's very easy. Anybody could do it. Uh, however, it, when you are in the first room, I guess I should make caution. When you're in the first room, uh, the evading is very high because of the seals. Okay, uh, the enemies in each room doesn't get easier until you break the seals by killing the ads in there. So the first room is always initially the hardest room. And what I like to do in there. Uh, is actually go to the Ember Stomp that uh, gives me the most defense and avoids any incoming uh, ceasing as possible. So uh, while I'm trying to burst them down with whatever hits I can get while they're invading, they themselves can't actually hurt me either. I guess I could show you the first room of what I mean, and then I'll go ahead and just cut to a Zakan after that. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's go over to the first room, and I'll show you that. And the reason why I'm only going to show you the first room is because after you break the seal of the first room. Uh, the rest of the rooms below are pretty much easy. It's, it's, it's pretty much just uh, kill them and move on. That's all it is. 
Okay, so here we are at the first room, and like I said before, because of the seals, their invasion is uh, really high. So we want to make sure that uh, even though I can't hit them as much, I want to make sure that they can't hit me that much either. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and kill these guys, of course. Over here. Now I'm going to immediately go into a stomp. And as you could see, their evasion is really high. They would be dead by now if their evasion wasn't this high. Uh, so yeah, but on the contrary of me not being able to hit them as hard, they can't hit me that hard either, as you could see. Whoops, that was a little bit too early. And of course, I do have uh, chi problems sometimes, yeah? I like to grab them sometimes. Why not grab them, block them just like this? And I'm uh, going to go ahead and slam him and go into a uh, another one. And just pretty much try to burst him down. I can actually knock him down like that. There we go. I like to evade that. If you don't evade that, you're actually going to get frozen. So make sure to make sure to uh uh, I frame that so you don't get frozen, okay? Go ahead and slam them down like that. Oops, I... <laughs> what the hell was I doing? And yeah, okay, so as you can see that takes uh, a decent amount of time, if, especially if you're not a bursty class. Um, but that's pretty much the first room. I like to be very defensive as possible. I like to use my iframes and of course grab them uh, as best as I can. Other than that, that is the only hard room. The rest of the rooms are pretty much uh, just go down them, kill them, and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. So let's head over to Zakan, cut to the footage. Let's go. <laughs> she dances with her fans. Okay, so here we are at Zakan, the star of the show. Well, for this section of the video, uh, final boss in Epidrink Citadel, and then we're pretty much going to go ahead and show you how I I'd, uh, deal with him and his mechanics and his rotation and whatnot. Uh, the build for this, I'm actually keeping this build right here, as you can see right here, not too much different from what we set it to before we got into the into this this room. I do keep it on this Ember Stop, and the reason for that is because I could. Uh, well, there's there's many ways you could solve this, and there's two ways that I actually go about doing this. Uh, one way is I actually I actually use the parry spin to parry his yellow indicator moves. Um, however, sometimes when I parry him and my ping is a little bit high, uh, I tend to lose momentum in my cleave and judgment animation canceling, which causes me to lose DPS, okay? So to prevent that, what I do sometimes is I actually stomp, and this prevents him from doing things like knockdown, okay? His knockdown, uh, which is his sword slam when he slams his sword on the ground, it's a yellow indicator move that can be blocked. It's very fast, uh, and you need to react to it very quickly, uh, but to avoid that, I pretty much just stomp, and I resist all of his knockdowns and all of his yellow indicator moves, and from there, I pretty much just burst him down as fast as I can, right? With the animation cancel, get that fury up, get that mighty cleave up, uh, and that's about it, man. I, I pretty much show you how I do it, but for the gist of it, for the most part, this guy really isn't, uh, he's not that hard. He's, he's probably the second easiest, the very, the easiest boss to deal with in out of all three is actually Akamar. Believe it or not, the dude in Naryu Foundry is the easiest boss to deal with. And the hardest boss to deal with was actually Lord of the Flame, okay? But if you could do Lord of the Flame, you could do uh, Zakan and Akamar and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, same thing as always, head over to with, uh, start off with Eye of the Storm, go into a Blitz, uh, Fury, Stomp, Smash, Mighty Cleave. Wrath cleave my way to the top. That's pretty much all we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get this shit going. I actually didn't my, do my thing. <laughs> Fail. I animation canceled the uh, the uh, the ultimate move. What I do for that move, by the way, is uh, pretty much uh, spin out of that. That was a knockback. And for his uh, his other red indicator move, I either iframe it or I backstep out of it. Uh, we pretty much already burst him, bursted him into the first phase, so we're going to go ahead and deal with it. Pretty much just stand here, okay? That's all I really do is stand here. I'm the only person here, so I, he can only pick me for that. Uh, I think that it gives you like a damage boost or whatever. It's been so long. Um, but uh, yeah. Notice how I don't use my stomp, okay? And notice how my stomp is off cooldown, but I'm not using it. And the reason for that is because I wait until he finishes finishes up this phase, and then I stomp, just like that to avoid that knockdown that you, as you're seeing right here. All these moves right here, I'm resisting it, okay? Resisted. 
Very good. Resisted. Wow, look at that. Look at how many procs I just had. That was amazing. Oh, I could smash again. <laughs> and we already bursted them down into the uh, the second phase. That was a lot of procs. I love that. Thank you, Rifflock. This weapon is fucking amazing. Alright. Okay, go like go like this. Do the fury, just burst them down. Pretty much just uh yeah, this is pretty much all I do. This is how I deal with him, okay? He's gonna well, I probably shouldn't have stomped there because he's gonna go into uh yeah, he's gonna go into this phase. Actually I'm gonna resist it and stun him like that. Probably grab him and just go like that, because why not? Oh, he got me. What are you gonna do? Oh! Knocks me back. That's alright. Oh! Okay, he knocks me back halfway. And I'm gonna go ahead and stomp just like that. Fury's up again, so let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, the stomp is making me resist all these yellow indicator moves. It's very nice. I love it. Okay, and then we just mighty cleave, mighty cleave, and mighty cleave. He's gonna go into his next phase right here. Just like this. Same thing, don't move. And the poison is actually gonna kill him. It's on 24 seconds before the poison kills him. We should have, uh, we should be able to get his HP down enough. High frame. Okay. Oh. Let's see, let's see if the poison will kill him. We've got three, two, one, and bam! There we go. That is pretty much how I deal with Zakan. The poison killed him, by the way. Uh, if those of you don't know. Uh, and let's go ahead and get our loot. Okay, we got uh, shit. Alright, so we got a box, and let's go ahead and collect our daily gold. That is pretty much the Zakan. Nothing, nothing hard at all about it, man. Just stand there, uh, block his moves, avoid his moves, evade him, whatever. Uh, and just burst him down, kill him down. So, uh, yeah, that is Ebon Drake Citadel. Now let's head over to Conda VR where we will go ahead and face uh, Akramar at Naryu Foundry. Let's go ahead and get it. One of the greatest perks about Destroyer is uh, you could go ahead and uh, stand here and uh, red spin adds down like this and uh, not take any damage whatsoever. Yep, one of the uh, beautiful perks about this class. I'm going to go ahead and move over to these guys and flush them down. Hell yeah. Okay, so here we are at the first boss at Nari Foundry, and uh, pretty much nothing to him. Same thing as usual. Jump in, burst him down, kill him, ignore the mechanics, and that's it. Believe it or not, I really do ignore the mechanics on this boss. Uh, the only thing that I really avoid, I guess, are the lava spills. Whenever the lava gets spilled on top of me, I spin out of the way to reposition, reposition myself in a safer, safer zone. Uh, but I pretty much face tank the explosions, the explosions at the ad. Um, pretty much the ad comes in and uh, uh, you know blows up or whatever I face tank that so if you have a lot of self healing or if you're a bit bursty and you can self heal yourself up um, or if you have a lot of damage mitigation moves like for, m for me for instance I have the tab spin that, that boosts my defense uh, so I, I, I take no damage whatever um, you could do things like that okay and, and be able to face tank the explosions you need to be careful if you're gonna stun the ads though because if you stun the ads he's actually gonna pull you in he's gonna if you're too far from him he will he will phantom group you back in and that's another reason why I just ignore the ads because I don't want to deal with that uh, some things that you can do to avoid getting hurt so bad as you can actually spec into this hurricane tab spin and what that does is it gives you an extra 100% uh, defense boost okay so for this one only gives me 400 this one will give me 500 okay so a little bit higher on the, on the damage mitigation on top of that we also have damage of the first incoming attack is also negated by uh, uh, mitigated by 40 an extra 40% so as you can see that's why this would be a, this is usually uh, used as like a very tanky spin uh, yeah, in most cases, it's either, whenever you're tanking, in my case, it's either this spin or this spin. I use these two, uh, whenever I'm tanking for parties or if I'm just tanking by myself, um, that's what I use. Normally, it's usually this one if I'm just a DPS in a group, I use this one. Uh, but for this part, if you want to be extra cautious, use the middle spin for more defense. 
Uh, other than that, same thing, going to the Eye of the Storm, Blitz, Fury Stomp, Smash, uh, Wrath Cleave, Mighty Cleave, and all that jazz. So there's the lava. I'll go ahead and reposition myself, just like that. More lava, reposition. And that's it. That is pretty much all to it. Oh, hello there, friend. How are you today? Yeah, how are you? I'm gonna go ahead and just leave you there. Yeah, he came to say hello. Uh, that is that for this boss. Let's go ahead and move over to the second boss, which, out of all three, he is actually the hardest boss, or the one boss that gives me the most, uh, that gives me the hardest time out of all three in this place, is the second boss. He was the biggest obstacle, actually. A funny little story, he was the biggest obstacle I had uh, when trying to solo this place, you know. Um, I couldn't get past them at one point. I would always get to the 3% and then I would die to the uh, Enrage Timer. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's head over to uh, second boss. Okay, so here we are at the second boss and like I said, he is the one boss out of all the bosses that I face in these three dungeons and that gives me the hardest time, okay? I'm probably not going to be commentating as much or I, I would try to, however, a lot of it is just going to be focus. I need to focus whenever I fight this guy. I just don't have that privilege of, you know, being able to block. The only thing I have to rely on is my parry spin and the reason for that is because same thing like Zakan, he's pretty much a Zakan rehash and he does all these knockdown moves with his sword slam. Knockdown Knockdown is my is the weakest is my weak point, okay? I always I am so vulnerable to knockdowns, okay? Uh, as a destroyer, that is my one weakness is knockdowns. Uh, so and he does that a lot, okay? And every time he knocks knocks me down, I lose my momentum with my animation canceling, uh, which causes me to lose out on DPS, okay? So and, and like I said, he does knock knockdowns a lot, and yeah, you can pretty much see why I have such a hard time. And I only have 0 0.5 seconds, half a second to time. Uh, the parry to make sure I don't get knocked down or get CC'd. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to commentate whenever I do his mechanics. However, for the most part, I'm just going to be trying to focus and, um, you know, trying to parry spin his knockdowns. And you're going to see how many times I fuck up, man. I'm gonna, I know I, I'm not perfect at this whatsoever. I know I fuck up a lot. It's, 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 it's a lot of thinking about his rotation and knowing when to predict that parry spin or, or when to predict that knockdown. That's, it's, it's pretty much what it is. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead. And I uh, get this. I'm gonna save the ultimate move for Akramar. Actually, you know, I could probably still use it. It'll still be up by the time we get to Akramar. This is gonna be like a six-minute fight. That yeah, that's how slow it takes me to kill this guy. His fucking knockdowns are unbelievable. Uh, anyway, let's 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 get it. It's a long enough video as it is. shit just like that that is pretty much my weakness damn it Okay, so for the flame thing, I look pretty much where it's at, and I pretty much backstep out of the flame just so I don't get that flame debuff. Okay, that's what I that's how I that's what I do uh, to deal with the uh, the flame debuff. I pretty much uh, uh, backstep my way out of it. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay, very good. So he's going to go into his first mechanic, which w is the flowers. There's only two flowers you have to deal with, and pretty much I like to iframe into them. That's what I do, and they're pretty much just faced on... Uh, Opposite opposite sides of each other. Oh shit, I forgot to check my weapon. That is not good. Okay Also, what I like to do for this is uh, do the iron plating as you can see do the iron plating very good He's gonna do his uh, flame thing again, so I'm gonna see where it's at and Backstab out of it just like that just so I don't get the uh, the flame deep off And same thing Goes back to his regular rotation Woo! Ah. Okay, do the flame again, it's coming right behind me, and back step, very good. Okay, same thing as always, we're gonna look for the flowers, where are they? There they are. Back step into it. There we go, so he doesn't get healed. Gonna go ahead and spin out of that, and then uh, go ahead and do your iron plating. Okay, very good. Come on. Damn, did I really not... Oh, God. See how close we are to the Enrage Timer? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we should be okay. Oh, well, not if that keeps happening. Whoops. Don't, come on, don't get impatient. Don't get impatient. Just kill him. 
There we go. Oh God! Now that the hard part's over, everything is just a smooth sail away. So, yeah, that is pretty much uh, the reason why I have such a hard time is because of all those knockdowns. You've seen how many times I was getting knocked down. It was uh, it was not fun. My timing is so off. It, it's it's like you have such a small like leeway of uh, you know reaction time you know to 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 react to those kinds of slams and uh, I always fuck it up man I always either do it too early or it's too late so uh, yeah but uh, after he's done uh, pretty much Akramar is, is is just tank and spank you know that's that's pretty much all it is uh, either way let's head over to to Akramar and I'll show you how I deal with them okay so this is Akramar right everybody is familiar with this and uh, the way I deal with him is I pretty much, as I stated before we left the second boss room, is I pretty much tank and spank. He is the easiest out of all three final bosses uh, to solo. The only thing that you have to deal with is the burning embers or so, whatever the hell it's called. It pretty much uh, eats away your HP. It ticks away at your HP. Uh, this is normal mode, so you don't have to deal with the mechanics. That's why he's so easy. You don't have to do the driving or none of that bullshit. And the biggest reason, that, and also the that's also the biggest what, reason why you could solo this place. Okay, if the mechanics still matter then they, it would probably probably be damn near uh, impossible if not you could probably just two mana one driver one DPS tank whatever uh, but because mechanics don't matter it's just a tank and spank okay like I said the only thing you have to ma really consider is the um uh, the burning embers okay um, I'm gonna have 141k HP hopefully that should be enough that should be enough um, but I can't remember remember uh, how much I had last time when I when I did this the first time uh, anyways yeah, that is that. The build is pretty much the same. I went back to, I took off the parry, went back to this one. Um, that's been, or you could actually use this one. I may just use this one just to be uh, precautious because if you have the burning embers uh, eating away at your HP and, and, hi, and him doing his attacks, that's going to be double the damage. So I may, I may just keep it on this one just to be safe. Uh, but you can use either one, whichever one you're feeling like, uh, whatever you feel like using. Uh, and then that's it. Stomp is put back to the cleave damage thing. And uh, that is that. And yeah, trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. I don't think so. So same thing as always. Eye of the Storm, Blitz, Fury Stomp, Smash, Mighty Cleave, Wrath Cleave, your way to the top. Tank and Spank, and that is it. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Akramar fight. Okay. For that move right there, I you could either parry it or block it, because it is a yellow indicator. I like to uh, use my C whenever it's up, because that is a, a knockdown. And like I said, knockdowns are weaknesses of mine, so I like to go ahead and CC that. For the third hit I, on the spin, I like to, um, oh, I prematurely fucking smashed there, uh, but for that move, I like to, uh, uh, pretty much, uh, spin so I don't get knocked back, because that is a knockback, the third hit. I think they're all knockbacks, but the third one I always have, uh, the third, the third hit on that spin I always get hit by, uh, but whatever. So as you can see, we have the burning embers right there, it's already ticking, ticking away at my HP. It's very uh, minuscule, but uh, it's still, uh, you can still see it. Eating away at the um, HP. And yeah. For this one, we can actually spin and spin again, because that is a knockback, and the, uh, the tab spin pretty much uh, negates that knockback. So yeah. I like the C. There we go, Scorching Strike, nice. And this is pretty much the whole fight. Mm-hmm, <laughs> just killing Akramar, ladies and gentlemen. Ba -ba -ba. Face tanking and, and, and killing this guy. And I don't even know. <laughs> I like to face tank that move right there. These are just regular hits. We can face tank them. Oh, good. We're going to get another Sky Shatter. Very good. Two and three. Tab spin. Very good. 
Here's a shatter effect, good. I wait until Fury is off cooldown. Oh, after this. Okay. As you can see, he, I am taking a lot more damage just because these Ember stacks are stacking up. One hit, two hit, tab spin, three, okay, very good. Face tank the flamethrower, because why not? If you have to pop a potion, of course, feel free. One hit, two hit, three hits. Very good. Go ahead and pop that, because why not? It's up. I'll get out of there just to save some HP. Whoops. Didn't mean to smash that early. One. Two and three. Very good. And that should be it. There we go. Very good. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the Akramar fight. Alright. Let's uh, let's go ahead and collect our loot. Uh, we didn't get nothing. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh, and as you saw towards the end of that, uh, towards the end of that fight, my HP was uh, drastically going down, and that's just because of the uh, the stacks, right? All those Ember stacks were just ticking away, eating away at my HP, and it made it look like his attacks as well were doing a lot more damage to it. Uh, so it's a very severe uh, dot that you have to be aware of when you're fighting that. If you could deal with the dot like I like I can, then uh, obviously you could uh, you could just definitely do that. You could you could solo this place, um, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get our gold and I think I'm gonna go ahead and conclude it for today that is pretty much all I got for you guys so uh, yeah man that is pretty much how I deal how I oh wow we actually still sustained uh, 200k that's awesome I didn't think we we're gonna sustain that much today um, but yeah okay ladies and gentlemen that is it that is it guys thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions about anything in today's video go ahead and throw it in the comment section below I try my best to answer your questions uh, and uh, read all your comments, of course. And uh, yeah, man, that is, uh, I guess that's it. Trying to think, once again, trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. I guess just uh, just stay tuned. Stay tuned for more videos to come your way. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I love you all as always. And uh, hopefully, I hope you're all having a very easy day. And uh, yeah, I guess the shit, I guess that's it. Uh, anyways, this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day, and this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!